J.J. Okacha, improvisation and spontaneousness created a legend. There is a story that went into the history of the Bundesliga and all of world football. When legendary goalkeeper Oliver Kahn and the experienced Bundesliga defenders were tricked by a 20-year-old African player. They were the victims in a historical situation, and the one who caused this shame for Oliver Kahn was J.J. Okacha. Augustine Azuka J.J. Okacha was born March 14, 1973, in Nigeria. His skills are not professionally trained, but were honed by football matches on the streets of the Enugu province. Like the other kids when he started practicing soccer, Okacha simply played instinctively. There were no limitations or exercises about when he should shoot or where he should pass or for any position. Nobody screams, Okacha, you don't need to dribble. Play together like teammates. So football becomes part of him, like the game that gives him the most freedom. But also this wild football had brought him to the stature of a legend. Okacha's career started out as random as the way he plays football. In 1990, Germany won the World Cup, and upon entering the new season, Okacha's brother, Emmanuel Okacha, was invited to some trials by a few clubs in Germany. Okacha also followed his brother to try to enjoy the atmosphere of football in the nation that just reached the top of the world. On their arrival, Okacha was with a friend who was playing for the German third-class club, Borussia Neunkirchen. While watching his friend practice, Okacha asked for some training. During the training, the performance of a 17-year-old from Nigeria greatly impressed all the members of the training committee, so much so that Okacha officially joined Borussia Neunkirchen. After two years, Okacha's career was promoted to the Bundesliga, the highest league in Germany, when Eintracht Frankfurt decided to recruit him. And that's where he humiliated Oliver Kahn. When Okacha was just a 20-year-old boy, he came in from the bench, but very experienced players in the highest league in Germany were unable to stop him. His improvised and his shining moments had the whole stadium in a frenzy. They could not believe what they had just witnessed. After four seasons in the Bundesliga, Okacha has no individual or collective title to speak of. But with the moments he created here, Bundesliga still considers him as one of their legends. In 1996, Okacha moved to Fenerbahce for one million pounds. And while in Turkey, Okacha became a real hero again, scoring 30 goals in 62 matches, with many of those goals coming on free kicks. He became a true brand every time someone mentions this club after only two years, but he was the symbol of victory for the team from Istanbul. He also became a Turkish citizen with the name Mohamed Yavuz. Witnessing what Okacha showed with his feet was one of the luckiest moments of any football lover at the time. The Turkish people honored him as a saint because they didn't know what he would do with the ball when it reached his feet. But the one thing was certain that whatever it was would bring a loud round of applause. In 1998, Paris Saint-Germain spent 14 million pounds to bring him to Paris making him the most expensive African player at that time. Right in the first match, he scored a free kick goal for the team, which raised everyone's expectations. However, the first seasons did not go smoothly with Okacha and Paris Saint-Germain. At that time, it was difficult to predict which team would take the throne in France. In 1988-89, Bordeaux became the champion, followed by AS Monaco FC in 1999-2000 season. FC Nantes became the champion team in the 2000-2001 season. When Paris Saint-Germain was purchased by a group from Qatar, they were just a mid-range team and did not have many titles. However, the fans of this team were the luckiest when they would witness two midfielders considered to have the most amazing personal technique in the world. In January of 2001, Paris Saint-Germain confirmed that they won the race to sign the 20-year-old Brazilian player Ronaldinho. Paris had defeated many teams in Europe to get Ronaldo, and, and if he is considered a magician with the ball, then Okacha is called the African Witch. All people watching, from the opposing players, to the audience sitting on the stadium, to those in front of the TV screen could not predict what these two people would do with the ball. It can be said that Ronaldo Ho is a more developed copy of Okacha. If Ronaldo Ho is described by Okacha as the best player he has ever played with, then the Brazilian player also praised Okacha as the only number 10 he always admired. When training together, Ronaldinho had asked Okacha to teach him some tricks, 
and the Brazilian was surprised by the spectacular movements that the elder performed. But during the years in Paris Saint-Germain, people did not often see these two people play together, mostly due to injuries that prevented the two from appearing together on the field. However, every time they got a chance, the duo always brought extremely passionate performances. In his four years in Paris, Okacha scored 12 goals in 84 matches. We hope you'll check back to watch Okacha and the next part of his life in part two. J.J. Okacha, improvisation and spontaneousness created a legend. There is a story that went into the history of the Bundesliga and all of world football when legendary goalkeeper Oliver Kahn and the experienced Bundesliga defenders were tricked by a 20-year-old African player. They were the victims in a historical situation, and the one who caused this shame for Oliver Kahn was J.J. Okacha. After the adventure in Paris, his football life continued when he landed in England. Joining Bolton in the 2002-2003 season, he caused a fever throughout England. Although these football fans here have seen many artists on the pitch, they had never seen such a pair of magical feet. At Rebook, under the training of Sam Aladarcy, Bolton became the most annoying team for the English Giants. This time is an unforgettable time in the history of the white shirt team when they made all other big teams very uncomfortable. Okacha was trusted by the English coach when he was handed the captain's armband and played in the number 10 position he liked so much. Okacha was loved by the fans. Almost every white shirt of the supporters have the word JJ. The autobiography of Sam Aladarcy has the following statement. I like the techniques and the way Okacha uses the ball. I can watch him all day without getting bored. Okacha's way of dribbling is unique. No other players can do it. After the end of the 2005-2006 season, Okacha refused to renew his contract with the team. After Bolton was relegated, at 33 years old, Okacha came to the Cutter SC and then Hull City and then retired in 2008. In the Nigerian shirt, Okacha is the most important colonel in the team. He and Nigeria won the Can Cup in 1994 and the Olympics in 1996. He was a key part of creating the most beautiful and glorious years of the Blue Eagle team. In 2004, although Nigeria was unable to play in the Cannes final, Okacha still won the title of the best player in the tournament. In that same year, he was selected by the King of Football Pele to be on the list of 100 greatest players of all time. Nigeria's number 10 attended three World Cups from 1994 to 2002. Sadly, the best he and his teammates can do was reach the round of 16 at the World Cup in 1998. And Nigeria had to leave the tournament regularly right after the group stage. In 2006, Okacha retired from the national team with 14 goals and 75 appearances. From street football to amateur matches and then to professional, Okacha has never lost the wild and instinctual way of playing football. Despite the growth of football, discipline, and the sense of tactics still on the throne, but people always want to see Okacha play with the ball. His hip swings and all the tricks from him with the ball on the field bring football viewers great excitement. Since Okacha has never played for a big team, he is not among the ranks of the players with the most titles. But no matter what, the friends of Frankfurt, Fenerbahce, Paris Saint-Germain, Bolton Wanderers, or anyone else fascinated by Okacha's feet will always remember him. To them, he is always a legend. Please show your love for J.J. Okacha in the comments section below.